you have to run a household and a small farm. So what you're, what you're doing is you're making decisions about what you do about labour, when you plant the crops, what the crops are, what you do about bad weather, what you do about crop pests. You've then got to feed your family. So you're then setting up diets and allocations to distribute to the people in your house. You give them good diets. You're bulletproofing them against nutrition-related illness. You, if you don't give them good diets, they may well become ill. They could possibly die. So you're then looking at expenses for hospital. You're looking at expenses for funerals. Uh, you're looking at a loss of labour. So there's all sorts of things you're having to balance. Very often you'll find that as people play the game, they go in this journey that the attitude that they've got at the start is quite different. You know, when they've actually entered into it, they realise that the, the, the ethical and the practical landscape is very different from what they imagined. You know, they're sometimes presented with a dilemma. They've made an agreement with someone that they will give them, say, two bags of maize from their harvest if they'll give them a loan. But when that, that comes round, I mean, would you, do, do you renege in that agreement so that you can feed your family? It, it's suddenly the, the, the things are not as black and white as you might have imagined from the outside. And because a lot of these people potentially are going to be working as policy makers, to actually understand that it's not black and white, you're actually working with people in their messy reality. That, that was really what we're wanting to do with the simulation. It is a lot of fun. I mean, all of the groups that have played it, they've enjoyed it, they've had a lot of energy, they've become very evan evangelistic about it. The, so many of them that were playing in the last session we ran, they're now going to their lectures and saying, this needs to be part of our course. This is really good, it's a lot of fun, we'll learn a lot that we wouldn't learn from the books, so please try and uh, have more of this in our, in our courses. The challenge of the game is not wrestling with the interface, the challenge of the game is entering into the life of these farmers and understanding what it's like to stand in their shoes and try to deal with complex decisions with so limited knowledge and so much uncertainty about the future. You actually don't need any experience at all, you just need an attitude that you want to play the game. Most of the people who have played the game so far in the workshops and the test sessions that we've had, most of them have not been serious gamers of any kind, some of them have never played the game in their lives. So th there, there is no issue about you need to know all the, the different genres or types of games, first person shooters, that. None of that is necessary. It's something that you come into this game and you say, I want to get a better understanding of what it's like to be in this situation. Uh, there's no technical knowledge of any kind required. From the point of view of someone who's running a workshop, very straightforward. You come in, you've got a server, you put the software on it, one, one, once it takes you maybe about 15, 20 minutes to set that up. Uh, you set up a little local network, easiest to do it as a Wi-Fi network. People come in with their laptops, connect up, you walk them through the game so that the, it's not completely unfamiliar to them, and then you just start playing. All of the software of the game is open source, so anyone can go to our website, download the source code and work and develop that. All of the other software which is used as part of the project is either open source or available free to use. So the, one of the things that we wanted to have no financial barrier of any kind for people to play the game. So using the game, playing the game, absolutely free. If people have got the potential and they would like to say develop, say soil management is an important thing for them and they want to develop a soil management module, fantastic. They can download the source. We're putting it under a, a GPL license. They can then uh, de develop that, uh, de uh, that module for the game. And part of the licensing is they must make that available to the wider community. So our hope is that we may develop a community of practice where people will come in, players, developers, educators, and this will grow into something much bigger.